Is it easy to move on after your breakup? Ano yung mga bagay na dapat nating tandaan for us to be able to move on after a failed relationship? Hello everyone, my name is Altred. This is Fit the Mind TV. If this is the first time that you visit my channel, you need to press this one, the subscribe button, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. So let's make this quick. What are the things that you need to remember after a breakup? How you will be able to move on after that? Number one, no contact policy. Make sure na wala talaga kayong communication. Remove the contact number, remove the telephone number, lahat ng may connection dun sa ex mo. Huwag na wag mo siyang stalk on Facebook, on social media. Kailangan zero communication. Lahat ng mga bagay na may connection sa kanya, you have to put a barrier. You have to put wall on it. Huwag naman na yung after a few days or a week, hindi mo siya matitiis at makipag-communicate ka sa kanya. No. As much as possible, there should be no contact at least 3 months. You have to control yourself from contacting the person. Next, you have to understand what happened. You have to accept yung mga nangyari sa inyo. Kailang matanggap mo yun na wala na kayo. And that would be the start of healing process ng emotion mo. Kung paano ka maka-cope up sa nangyari. So once na malinaw na sa'yo na single ka na ngayon, once na malinaw na sa'yo you accept everything na nangyari sa inyo, then it's easy for you to heal your wounds. Third, reflection. Kailangan magkaroon ka ng reflection from what happened to you, from what happened to your past relationship. You have to learn from that relationship. That will be your preparation for your next one. So your reflection from what happened is really important in terms of your personality, how you will be able to move on dun sa nangyari sa'yo. So you have to make sure that you learn something from your ex, from your past. Fourth, you have to be thankful. Hindi yung magsisisi ka ba't naging kayo. You have to be thankful for what happened. You have to appreciate the learning that you can get from that experience. Hindi yung after na mag-break kayo is ang dami mo ng sama ng loob. No, it's not like that. You have to be thankful. Kung ano yung natutunan natin from that relationship, use it. And be thankful from the learning that you can get out of it. Next, do not get into a new relationship right away. Kailangan magkaroon ka ng time off for yourself. Kailangan magbakasyon ka muna sa pag-ibig. You have to relax your emotion. You have to spend time alone. Magmuni-muni ka muna. And normally, kung hindi ka nagmamadali, the right person will be there. Makikilala at makikilala mo siya. Kailangan wag lang tayong atat na may makilala agad, na may kapalit ka agad yung nakaraan mo. Number six, you have to ask yourself, what is your priority? Yung pag-ibig ba na lagi kang sawi? Or you have something to look for? You have something to make your priority? So make sure that you understand you have your priority in life. Kasi baka mamaya you cannot handle at the same time yung love life mo at yung future mo, yung goal mo. So if yung priority mo is yung goal mo, you have to work on it. Kalimutan mo muna yung love life mo. If you can do it all at the same time, yung love life mo, and to reach your goal, then do it. But make sure na you know your priority in life. Next, you have to enjoy your life being a single again. You have to spend time with your friends. Mag-enjoy ka muna sa pagiging binata, sa pagiging dalaga, pagiging single. Kung na-stress ka sa relationship mo, kailangan ipagpahinga muna yung sarili mo. Be single and be happy being one. And if you are not aware yet kung ano yung benefits ng pagiging single, you have to watch one of my video about the benefits of being a single person. That might help you to realize na okay yung maging single. Next thing is, you have to love yourself. Kung yung focus mo before sa relationship nyo is sa partner mo lang, you have to give yourself time to love yourself again. Huwag yung halos yung mundo natin is umiikot lang sa partner natin. Since wala na kayo, then you have to focus on yourself. Before you love someone, make sure na you love yourself first. And do not forget to explore. And you have to get out. Mamasyal ka. Mag-enjoy ka. Mag-travel ka. For you to be able to forget all those things. 
kailangan bigyan mo naman yung time yung sarili mo. It deserve your attention yung sarili mo. Next, you have to trust the process. All this process, all these factors needs to happen for you to be able to move on. And you need that after a breakup. That will really help you in terms of how you will be able to overcome, to deal with the breakup. Kailangan magtiwala ka dun sa proseso. And that will result in a good outcome. And last, be happy. You have to smile. You have to be happy. Focus on the things na maganda from what happened. Hindi yung maalala mo lang is yung mga bad memories. No. You have to focus on the things na napasaya ka. Na maganda dun sa relationship mo before. You have to treasure the good memories and disregard the bad memories na nagkaroon ka. And by doing that, you are going to be a happy person. And once you follow all this strategy on how to deal with the breakup, ano ba yung mga dapat mong gawin after a breakup? And definitely, you will be able to overcome the heartaches. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Altred. This is Fidemind TV.